Yesterday, just 17 days after leaving Yiwu in southeast China, the first ever Belt and Road freight train traveled the last few hundred meters of its 12 and a half thousand kilometer journey to arrive at the Deutsche Bahn Eurohub terminal in East London. On its journey, it has had to change trains three times to cope with different rail gauges and has traveled through Kazakhstan, Russia, Belarus, Poland, Germany, Belgium and France before entering the Channel Tunnel and making history as the first train to complete the journey from China all the way to London. Within minutes of the train pulling to a halt, the first of its containers was offloaded and transshipped onto a waiting articulated lorry for delivery to a distribution depot just over two weeks from when it was loaded in China. The significance of this new mode of international cargo transportation, faster than sea and much cheaper than air freight, was not lost on the dignitaries and business representatives who'd gathered to welcome the train. And the successful first trip was celebrated with traditional Chinese dragon dancing before the minister of the Chinese embassy in the UK, Qin Zhu, added his welcome. Today's event is yet another testimony of the growing momentum of the Belt and Road Initiative and highlights the unique role of the United Kingdom as an important partner of this important initiative. Yesterday, at the Davos Forum, President Xi Jinping of China announced that China is going to host the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation in May in Beijing. This would be another opportunity to draw the blueprint, build the platform, and share the outcomes of the cooperation under the framework of Belt and Road. We warmly welcome UK, among other countries, to join this very exciting and important event in Beijing.